Hey guys, what's up? Here, you know, just doing okay here in, in another evening in Vegas. But I gotta share a little tidbit for you, for, you know, for you guys tonight. You know, uh, you know, we call this that. I have just posted that from my friend of mine, Diane. And it says that money cannot, the you know, money, thing that money cannot buy, time, you know, uh, common sense, health, and most of all, of that happiness. You see, nowadays that I've been working so hard that we're grinning our minds that we have to work hard. You know, that's the thing that I wasn't work when I was working in Las Vegas. No, no, not Las Vegas, Chicago. I never had a day off because I was running. You know, I had two days off of that, but mostly when I had two days off of that, you know, it's over. I'm working. You know, I had the flu. I was working. On one of my days off, I'm doing a part-time job on a side gig, and also working my business. And that's the thing that you know. Uh, then, when I got sick with a uh, walking pneumonia, okay, my philosophy changed. Okay, when my health was on the line of that, and I, you just you just thought one thing: you are you are human, okay. And sometimes it's that you know, uh, and you're always going at rat race, you know, getting that money. Putting the money back, paying bills, trying to get a car, things like that, and getting established. That's the things like that. The problem is that you're drilling so much of the pressure on you. Sometimes like that when you don't, you don't feel too good, you feel guilty, which is a detriment. I do Instacart, and sometimes like that, and then also do my side job for selling for a smoke alarm, for safety shield. And days like that there's no business coming in. It's hard, and and you, you think, and uh, and sometimes when I, you know when I start on medication like that, you know, uh, for my uh, for my high blood pressure like that, and you know, and I'm trying to lose weight also like that. Sometimes like that you know, wake all this that you know, you know, uh, you know, and also I'm taking care of my parents. So sometimes he, some days, you have no energy, but you know, and my mother told me one thing. I don't know how much of my mother, because my mother is like a pile of wisdom. She told me, do not exchange your health to that or something, you know, for money. If you don't feel too good, don't go out. It's the card that, you know, we call us that will always be there. And that's the thing, guys. Sometimes I will try to chase the money, money because, you know, you see that bank account is shrinking. But is, is it worth it? Are you with Jeff Bezos? Going in space, I think Jeff Bezos dies of that. His state is, uh, and my callers will be safe under uh, under lawyers. But after that, we die of that, we just go in the grave. But that's the thing in this world. That's why I suggest, guys, to that if you guys are, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, going through this pressure, so that you know, uh, first thing to do, get a life insurance policy if you're still young and pay money every, every month on it, okay. So down the road of that, if something happens to you, you can cash it. Or invest in stocks, invest in Bitcoin. Do something like that. Because you know why? Our you know, gas is going, going, going to go up right now. Everything is. Because, you know, like all this other economies, because of COVID, everything was shut down last year and it was trying to catch up. Look at look at trucks and cars right now. Don't have any microchips. That's why they start in the car so well. Value nowadays, car rental places had not running out of cars because COVID stopped that process of making cars, and that's the thing. And about lots of conflict with China, and the thing I, I really hated that it just they opened the you know uh, the Biden administration that you know uh, you know uh, open the borders to that okay, which uh, is a violation of uh, you know, of a national security act, but. I'm not in control of the government, and that's under pressure. My, 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 I was thinking, okay, it's for my safety. I'm thinking about that also. So there's a lot of things you have to think about, and and also the like also what will happen. No, I'm trying to get a house, and I'm I'm still trying to earn that money. But you know, it's you know, marketing and everything that it takes time. With COVID, that just takes took something. It's an excuse, but it took something out under us of that. We still have to rebuild. Look at the resource world. A lot of people are quitting. You know why? Then I used for work in most of them that you know what I don't want to be paid this much money that I can collect unemployment. And we still have facing a lot of harsh things in, in, down the road. That's why that I tell you guys that if you're working hard, okay, if you don't feel too good, stay home. 
Okay, if you can, that takes some personal time. But you know why? Okay, the high now because if everything else you still uh, you still have a house, a home, and a, and a and a wife to go home to, you're still good. Spend time with your kids, and don't worry about chasing and thinking I want to buy a new truck and, or buy a new car. You know, like for now, like that, be satisfied with what you have until everything opens up, like that, until this administration leaves, then and Trump comes back. Everything goes in order, then he can move. Right now, right now, so much uncertainty. That's why I tell you guys that you know, always, not, you know, don't watch the news. Don't not watch the news. Okay? Like, uh, uh, they, that's all scare tactics because you know why? The media doesn't have any influence over us anymore. All they do is scare. That's about it. It's about control, guys. And we're not, in, you know, because of this hardship, we're not controlled for our own destinies. Remember that. We must be in control of our own destinies. Okay, and uh, we call us, uh, and it's up to us that what happens next. So remember one thing, watch your health. Be positive. And don't worry about the future. Have faith. And most of all of that, you know, uh, plan. If you can save, you can save. And enjoy your family. Appreciate what you have. For right now, that's my night rant. Enjoy, guys.